All right, we have a ready for Miles. Let's go ahead and count them down to their first matchup, first game of their matchup. Three, two, one, Tetris. Now you have Ninu, one of your giants in the top eight, 1.2 player going up against Miles, who's just a maxed out player with multiple max outs. And Ninu had some of the most hype matches in the top 16 bracket, winning up against Decider of Dog playing Tetris. Anyways, Miles starting the game off early with a Tetris. Ninu running into an early drought and is starting to set up for, looked like he was gonna consider setting up for a center wheel there. Miles knocks down his second Tetris. Ninu now struggling to score one Tetris. Tetris ready, however. But Ninu still just getting droughted here. Unable to score Tetris. Ninu starting to get up a little bit high. Goes for a flat long bar burn. Man, what a drought for Ninu. Ninu, Tetris ready. Miles has knocked down only two Tetrises so far. Ninu's going to take a safety triple. What is this drought for Ninu? He finally gets the long bar, knocks down a well deserved. Boom, Tetris for Ninu. 40,000 to 58,000. And Ninu sets up a long bar dependency over there in column three, but gets the long bar to fill it in, which is a surprise considering how low long bars been for him this game Ninu now Tetris ready once again no long bar still he's gonna burn down for a safety triple just because out of safety where are the long bars for Ninu there it is finally after he covers up the well meanwhile Miles is at 86,000 really hasn't been cap capitalizing on all these droughts that Ninu has been receiving Ninu knocks down a dirty triple. Looking for an eyepiece. Gets an eyepiece. Now Ninu almost Tetris ready. Couldn't use that long bar, but he's now waiting on the next one. And finally, another Tetris for Ninu. 85,000, 135,000. Early suffer game for Ninu here. But Ninu and Miles both knocked down Tetris. 158,000, 106. Ninu now setting up an interesting overhang with the square. Tetris ready. Not going to go for the L-Spin. It's going to go for the O-Tuck instead. Knocks down a Tetris. 131. Now Ninu setting up, unfortunately, a dependency over there. And might have been a misplacement over there with that J. It's going to cost him some more lines. And Miles, already at 205,000, is looking to extend his lead here. However, Miles isn't necessarily 100% clean either. And Ninu now starting to get up a little bit high. It's going to burn down for a nice, lovely triple there. And after two singles, Tetris ready and knocks down another boom Tetris for Ninu. 168,000 for Ninu, 211 for Miles. Miles actually going for a well transfer and column nine gets the long bar for the perfect well transfer. Goes up to 235,000. Ninu now Tetris ready. Ninu holding out for the long bar. Still not getting this long bar. Getting, S getting a lot of pieces here. Where's the long bar for Ninu? Takes an S double. Oh my gosh, this drought is huge. He's going to burn down for another double. And Ninu still going through this drought. Finally gets the long bar. 210 or 201,000 for Ninu. And another Tetris for Ninu. Miles. Really hasn't been able to capitalize despite the large drought. However, Miles is 10 lines behind. Ninu just getting drought after drought after drought. Miles knocks down another Tetris, 289,000. Ninu with a nice T piece adjustment is going to knock down another Tetris, 248,000 for Ninu. This is some of the worst RNG I've seen in a gauntlet match so far. He still has the potential to transition with a high 300, potentially even 400. However, Miles is prime position. <laughs> Prime position to transition with a 500k. Ninu, Tetris ready. And finally gets the long bar. Knocks down another Tetris. 272 to 358. Miles, Tetris ready. Knocks down another Tetris. Ninu with an interesting uh, setup over there. He's going to have to burn this down. Didn't like the way his build looked. Now, kind of has this interesting gap that he's going to need a couple of good pieces. Oh, he's setting up for the center well. Ninu knocks down the center well. Tetris 319. 
It looks like we might see him set up for another center. We might just burn it out. Meanwhile, Miles at 389,000, running into a little bit of trouble scoring. Opens up the well once again. Nenu now, Tetris ready. Has to burn down a single. And ooh, a couple of unfavorable pieces for Nenu. Nenu's gonna have to burn once again. Looking for the right piece, gets the long bar, would like another one, but will RNG give it to him? RNG's been real stingy about the long bars right now. Starting to get up a little bit high, but gets the long bar, knocks down a Tetris. Miles is in a little bit of trouble here. Knocks down a Tetris, Miles should be able to dig out of this, but he only has eight lines before transition. Nenu at 372,000 can transition at a maximum of 396. And that's exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna transition at 396,000. Miles transitions at 448. Now, hopefully the, the pieces for Nenu gets better in the post-transition because some of those droughts that we saw in uh, pre-transition can definitely kill any good player. But Nenu knocks down Tetris. He trails by one Tetris. Miles, however, only four lines behind. Does have more than four lines worth of digging. Nenu knocks down Tetris. Tie game, 448 to 455, separated by less than half a Tetris. Nenu, now Tetris ready once again. Playing super efficient on level 19 speeds. Knocks down another Tetris and takes the lead. 474. Miles, however, is clean. Looks like he's setting up for a center world Tetris. Nenu knocks down another Tetris for 500,000. Miles is going to go ahead and take the triple. Not pass up on Tetris opportunity there. Nenu now almost Tetris ready again. Has to burn out. Has to stack up one more piece. He's Tetris ready now waiting on the long bar. Miles clean. Nenu knocks down Tetris. Goes up to 529. Miles at 470,000. Tetris ready. Waiting on the next long bar. Nenu also Tetris ready. Both Miles and Nenu knock down Tetris. 555,000 to 497,000. And Miles Tetris ready does have a tuck or a spin, depending on which way you look at it. And both Tetris for both players. 585 to 526. Miles four lines behind Nenu. Nenu almost Tetris ready again. He's been playing with some incredible efficiency. Miles knocks down another Tetris. 554. Nenu Tetris ready just waiting on the next long bar. Gets the next long bar. Knocks down Tetris. Goes to 615,000. Miles Tetris ready. Nenu almost Tetris ready. Just has to burn off a couple pieces off through the side. Miles knocks down another Tetris. Goes up to 583,000. Nenu now trying to burn off a couple more pieces. It's going to burn off a J and a T piece. He's now Tetris ready. Miles has a couple of lines to burn. Nenu with a J piece dependency. He's going to put the long bar in there. Still a very nice clean build, but Miles misses that spin tuck. Miles is in danger. Not sure if he's going to be able to dig out of this. And after that hang, that's going to do it. Miles is going to top out at 587,000. And Nenu is going to take game one. Fantastic droughts for Nenu, but he was able to pull it through and have a crazy post transition to catch up and surpass Miles' score. We have a ready from Nenu and a ready from Miles. We can get this next game underway. Let's go ahead and count them down. Three, two, one. Tetris. Truly, what a fantastic start to the game one of this matchup. Nenu with Suffer RNG transitioning only with a 396,000. Managed to pull it back, scoring almost that exact score. Or not almost that exact score, scoring just roughly around that same amount of score by level 25. So his post transition efficiency was insane. And we start off the game with a simul Tetris, 22,000 for both players. Neither player pushing down. And then with a couple adjustments there, is Tetris ready now. And nice overhang with the T piece. Nenu knocks down a Tetris, maintaining 100% Tetris rate so far. Nice adjustment by Nenu as well. Nenu actually has a lot of overhangs in his stack, holding out for the T piece to go for the perfect tuck, and is just going to hit the spin instead. Nenu setting up a lot of overhangs this game, and some of these overhangs look a little bit troubling. But he gets all the right pieces to clean up. Look how beautiful that stack is. Miles, however, has been able to make, make a lead here. And it's going to knock down Tetris 77,000 to 71,000. 
And uh, Tetris for Nenu goes up to 100,000, almost 100,000 even. Now goes up to 101. Miles goes to 117. Nenu with a massive S Spire over there, kind of S Staircase now. Looking for a long bar. Starting to. Ooh, long bar comes a piece too late for Nenu. But he is going to knock down Tetris. Goes up to 126. Miles goes up to 143. Now Nenu with a J piece dependency over there in the left. Gets the J piece. Now needs one more piece to get Tetris ready. Going to burn off a single. Both players Tetris ready. Both players waiting patiently on the long bar. Will RNG give it to him? RNG gives the long bar for Miles. But it looks like Nenu's going through another drought. He's stacking aggressive. He needs to burn down and finally gets the long bar. Was starting to get up a little bit high there. And another Tetris for Nenu goes to 175. Miles goes to 190. Insanely close game over here. And another Tetris for Nenu goes up to 198,000. Nenu burns off a single and he's Tetris ready. Miles knocks down another Tetris, goes up to 235. Nenu knocks down another Tetris, goes up to 222. So in, another Tetris for Nenu, taking the lead at 245. Half Tetris lead for Nenu. However, he does have a rather troubling middle. But gets a perfect O for the, dare I say it, OP's dependency. At least OP's dependency for a clean build. Miles is at 261,000. Nenu decides to go a little bit safe and go for a couple of safety burns. And Nenu opens up the well. Would love the long bar here. Goes for a TP single. And now he needs the long bar. Finally gets the long bar. Goes up to 272. But now he has a lot that he's going to have to work with. Nenu now trying to get the long bar to put over there to the left. He's just going to put a J piece over there instead. Now Nenu not set up for a dirty Tetris. But in prime position to start burning this down. Gets the long bar. Is going to burn out the side. And ooh, actually could have done that more efficiently. But nice T-piece adjustment. Meanwhile, all the while, while Nenu has been trying to dig and get back into scoring position. Miles is at 354,000. Knocks down another Tetris. It goes up to 377,000. And Miles, Tetris ready again. Nenu has a couple more lines to burn. Looking for an L-piece. L-piece is best case scenario. And that's what he gets. But with like a J-piece. Gets the J-piece, and Nenu is now Tetris ready after that long bar. For Miles, that 400,000, 100,000 point lead for Miles. Miles knocks down Tetris after almost a slight misdrop, but it was a nice adjustment. 423,000 for Miles, 311 for Nenu. And another Tetris for Nenu goes up to 334,000. Nenu now looking for a J-piece or an I. RNG's been rather rough today for Nenu, but he does get the J-piece. Now looking for the I-piece to score the Tetris. And nice tucks over there by Nenu. And he's going to knock down a Tetris. Goes up to 357,000. Nenu now looking for an I-piece. Is he going to get an I-piece? We saw how much he got drought in game one. Gets the I-piece now being forced to burn. Miles with 100,000 point lead still. Going for a couple more safe burns here. Nenu looking for an L or a J. Gets the J, but forces to place the T piece over there on the left. Nenu now Tetris ready. Miles knocks down a Tetris 485. Nenu at 371. 20, 19 lines left for both players till the transition. Nenu holding out for the long bar. He needs a J now. Once again, gets an I piece. Knocks down a Tetris. Looking for both an L. For an L. Now Nenu. 10 lines away from transition. Tetris ready. Miles already at 510,000. Can score three more Tetrises here. Nenu now. Tetris ready. Four hundred and forty-three thousand for Nenu, and wow, massive square burst. Nenu holding out for the long bar. And Nenu just opts to burn triple. He transitions at 450. Miles transitions at 541. Miles knocks down Tetris. Nenu also knocks down Tetris. Goes up to 482. Already at level 20. Miles burns down for a triple. Keeping it safe. 
Now, ooh, slight misdrop from Ninu. He's gonna knock down Tetris. It's gonna cost him a couple lines. Miles goes up to 597. Now, Ninu looking for the long bar. Get, got the long bar in that situation. Now, trying to burn out here. Meanwhile, Miles, incredibly clean positioning right now. Ready to start building up for Tetris. And he has a healthy lead. Ninu gets the long bar for the dependency. Actually, several long bars right there. Nenu could be setting up for a center well. He set up for one, and he's not going to take a Tetris. He's going to go ahead and take the triple. Trails by just about 100,000 points. Maz is ready, but he does have an LP's dependency. Fills it in. Now Maz has to do a little bit of digging before he can score his next Tetris. The well is now open. Goes for a conservative triple. Nenu is Tetris ready. Maz also Tetris ready. Holding out for the long bar. Gets a square all the way over to the left. Nenu waiting on this long bar. Finally gets it. Knocks down a Tetris. Goes up to 558,000. Miles now Tetris ready. Knocks down a Tetris as well. Goes up to 649. Ninu Tetris ready again. Both players actually playing with some pretty good efficiency. 588 for Ninu. 650 for Miles. Miles still Tetris ready. Holding out for the long bar. Gonna go for a conservative double there. Still waiting on the long bar. Long bar isn't coming. Miles gonna take a triple burn. And now Misdrop sets up for a T-spin. However, Ninu's gonna knock down a Tetris. 619. Only trailing by two Tetrises. Meanwhile, Miles might go for a dirty here. He might just burn out. He does have a two Tetris lead, but he's gonna have to start scoring soon. Nenu now burns down for a safe double. Still Tetris ready. Knocks down a Tetris. Goes up to 652,000. Trailing by one Tetris. Miles, however, is clean. He's ready to start scoring for Tetris. Nenu Tetris ready. Knocks down a Tetris. Ties up the game. 684 to 675. Miles Tetris ready. Nenu trying to get Tetris ready. Miles knocks down a Tetris. Takes the lead right back. 705,000 for Miles. Miles now trying to get Tetris ready. Needs a T or a Z piece. He's going to go ahead and go for a triple. Nenu Tetris ready. Playing a little bit aggressive. Does have a week left, but needs to. He's gonna not burn down for a triple, burn down for a double instead. Now he needs the long bar to get over to the left in order to be safe. But Nenu isn't getting the long bar. And now he finally decides to go and take a double. However, Nenu is in trouble. Miles is now starting to garner up his lead. And this might be too late for Nenu. And Nenu unable to get the square over. He's gonna top out 695,000. Miles takes game two, tying it up. Oops. Can we get a ready from Miles and Ninu? And we got it ready from both players. Go ahead and count them down to game three. Three, two, one. Tetris. It was a best of five. Is now a best of three. Some of you might recognize that line from Van Weller. But i just like to add, whoever wins this game goes into game four with a definite advantage. Both in the technicalities and as well mental state, potentially. Anyways, to start the game, both players, Tetris ready. Ninu building up rather troublesome column 8 and 9. And Ninu now relying on a T-piece. Will he get the T-piece for the T-spin to hopefully build this up cleanly? And he's just going to go ahead and place the long bar over there to the left side. And there's the T-piece, a piece after it's too late. Miles is at 47,000. Ninu now just has to focus on burning this out. Ninu knocks down a dirty Tetris though, goes up to 50,000, trailing Miles' score by only one Tetris. However, Miles has a very clean build. And Ninu with an interesting adjustment there. And Ninu with a nice and slightly dirty Tetris goes up to 78,000. Miles having to do a little bit of burning. 
And another Tetris for Ninu. Might see him try and maintain the row. Oh, is he actually setting up for Cinewell? Ninu is going for a Cinewell Tetris now. He's playing aggressive. And another Cinewell Tetris for Ninu. Looks like he might be going for another one. Ninu not going to go for a safe burn there. However, his stack is getting rather concerningly high. He's going to knock down the Tetris, but a S piece might force him to burn. No, he's going to go aggressive and continue stacking up for this Cinewell. That's going to be another Cinewell Tetris for Ninu. 171,000 for Ninu. 166 for Miles. Miles actually trailing by a couple of lines. However, it looks like Ninu in preparation to start building a secret grade here. He's going to need to find some way to start navigating. Looks like he can't no longer or score Tetris from a safe position from this stature. Nenu now, once again, just being forced to burn. Played a little bit too aggressive at the beginning with the way he was stacking. And now Miles has been able to garner up a two Tetris lead. Potentially more. And oh my gosh, Nenu getting up a little high. Needs to find some way to burn down. Oh no, a misdrop by Ninu. Ninu is going to early top out 182,000. He now goes down 1-2. to two. Miles is good at 220,000. Does Miles know he can top out? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, when we have a ready from Nenu and Miles, we can get game four underway. Got it ready for Miles to go ahead and count them down. Three, two, one, Tetris. Nenu now down one game to two. He needs to win this next game in order to go to a decider. However, Miles just needs one more game left. And if he does, he'll pull off a shocking upset. And he'll go to top four to play the winner of Hydrant and Batfoy. And then he already starting off with a couple of unfavorable dependencies, but gets lovely pieces to fill them in. And Miles starting off with a little unfortunate garbage on his board. Nenu knocks down the first Tetris of the game and continues to knock down the second. Miles already starting off early, having to do some burning here. Nenu now. Ninu and Miles, both Tetris ready. Ninu knocks down a Tetris, goes up to 69,000. Miles has to do a little bit of burning, but nice last second adjustment over there. Ninu, Tetris ready. Miles finally clean, ready to start scoring, putting up some more Tetrises on the board as Ninu is starting to garner up a almost 100,000 point lead. And another Tetris for Ninu goes up to 140,000. Miles just hasn't been able to really score any Tetrises this game. Finally, Miles is Tetris ready and knocks down a Tetris, but so does Ninu. 164 to, one, to 63,000, 100,000 point lead for Ninu.
Nene with a long bar dependency. Fills it in. Burns off a T piece to the side. Sets up a J piece dependency. And now it needs to burn off a couple more lines before he can score anything else. Gets the J. Sets up another J dependency. And oh. Starting to get a little rough pieces here. Miles starting to come back. And oh no. Nenu's unable to. Nenu needs a long bar now. Oh, he can't get anything over the left. Nenu's going to top out 168. Miles would have to top out right now in order to force a decider. 169 is the score that Miles has to score. Miles, Tetris ready. But a single misdrop here can do it. Not able to utilize that long bar. Looks like he's just going to play it safe. And with that Tetris, Miles goes up to 164. I'll send up a center well. And ooh, this is starting to look very problematic. It's going to triple, going to bring him up to 170, and that's going to do it. Miles takes game four and advances to top four. Up next, we have Batfoy versus Hydrant Dude.